Hi, I'm Abby. I'm an LA percussionist and I have one of the largest percussion collections in the world. My spouse, Dan, is also a percussionist and together we started LA Percussion Rentals. One of the highlights of this ride was when we got a call out of the blue asking us to take ownership of a renowned collection of percussion instruments. Ones that had played a part in so many soundtracks of the last five decades. The person who called us? Emil Richards who was probably just as well known for playing on these recordings as he was for his vast, eclectic percussion collection. And not too long ago, his daughter Camille called me. In honor of her dad's spirit and with an eye towards the future, she wanted to have some media composers come out to our warehouse for a night of percussive exploration. I want to ask you about this, this composer night that we did. You called me and you were like, hey, I got some composers who want to come over and let's check out some stuff. And that was a really, really cool thing that you wanted to do that. Thanks, Abby and Dan, for opening the space and yeah, having us fair. all here and continuing on with the legacy and just being open to learning new textures and sounds and you know diving deeper into what your craft already is and sharing the info. So wonderful to see what you'd been doing. And I just thought, well, now's the time as you've said, you know, really bring it back full circle and to turn on a new generation of composers and to give them the opportunity to get out of their head, out of the box, and to do my part in continuing the legacy and supporting you guys and the instruments. The laboratory. Yeah. Tune bell plates. Oh, shit. <laughs> you're able to play so well it's really nice uh -huh. you got some chops <laughs> it's a percussionist it's really interesting because every time we do one of these exploration sessions i learn stuff like it's not over what was it like being around this voracious instrument collector oh and inventor you know it was oh. it, that there were like the buzz marimba which had the monkey intestines that had a very special smell and, um, you know, growing up with a symbolism and just getting to the point where you can see into it properly, you know, starting out crawling around and climbing on tablas and then getting older and being able to approach an instrument from a different point of view was really interesting. You know, the, the parts of, of a vibe and the sound and the tone that would come out from, you know, knee heights and then further on was really a deep study of, of some of the instruments and they were everywhere. I mean, they were furniture. They were, you know, my friends <laughs> in a way <laughs> my, because they all had their own personalities and you could, you know, hang out with them in different ways. So like I was saying also, you know, you could, the typical thing is to play open, but you know, we, so we've done exploration of, you know, uh, taking the same mallets, but I'm going to, you know, play dead strokes. age you started actually going to the studios with him from before I came out probably in, in my mom <laughs> in, the, in the womb yeah I was on tour on the dark horse tour with George Harrison Robbie Shankar Billy Preston at about two and I know that I was um with them with Sinatra very early on. Lalo Schifrin said, when I did the score for Hellstorm Chronicles, which was about insects, considering that we don't know what the insects hear, I decided to invent their audio world. In order to do so, I needed Emil Richards to provide me with many of his instruments. 
we decided to meet at his home where most of those instruments were part of the decor of the house and the garden hanging in the patio. For example, wind chimes, African bells, Korean thumb pianos, and many more. When I finished the project, Emil was telling everybody that Lalo is playing my house. <laughs> This one you can do a lot of stuff with because again, it's very durable. Did your dad talk to you about his dreams for these instruments like in the future? I mean, he was very clear. These instruments are meant to be played. They are meant to live in the world that we are in. It's so cool to see all the instruments getting the love. I know that when he met both of you and Dan, it was very clear to him. It was like he had seen the future and he knew what beautiful care that you would take of the instruments. I mean, that in and of itself is its own chore and job and it has to be a labor of love. It's like you're a parent for an instrument and you make the sacrifices to care for it and and to trust that it will go out in the world and do well. And so, you know, I know that that he really was so excited about so much of the collection um, being, you know, going with, with you and Dan and what you would be able to continue to do with it and that it would live its, its rightful life and journey on into the future. So we got these from Emil, too. Unbelievable. Were these like in your house being all stinky? <laughs> yeah. They might have been. Yeah. yeah. Has anyone ever heard this sound before? <laughs> yes. Three iPhones. Oh, so good. Yeah. 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 It's such a good vibe. I mean, it's just I don't know, like, so cool to turn people on and, and open their palette and you know, give them permission to be creative and explore sounds in a way they might not have ever thought to and to, you know, share something. My dad's collection and his vocation, not only spiritually with meditation, but with music was to continue to pursue finding new sounds and connecting with people in, in that journey. I like to kick people's asses and also play marimba. I had a, a really rare opportunity to witness some of the greatest film composers and musicians in the world in history come together with one common goal and create some of the most iconic and moving and powerful pieces of music that have lasted for decades and decades. This was truly a joyful experience talking to you. Fun. I love talking with you guys. Thank you. And thanks for just keeping it going. It's so yeah. exciting. Always an adventure. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more, push subscribe and hit that bell because that action helps me be able to create more content.